that's also off this new album. Once again, um, I have a brand new album out, and I'm giving away for free all year long. So um, you can go online and download, you know, CD quality off Bandcamp or really compressed, low-grade MP3s off Noise Trade, um, whichever way you want to go. But I do uh, all my own recording from home, so I'll layer a lot of stuff, but it makes it more difficult coming out and playing live. Um, so this one's real stripped down, but I hope that's okay. This is called uh, Beyond the Blue. Side unseen, the substance of it dwells in me Cause my natural lies only go skin deep With the eyes of my heart anchor in the sea Plumbing the depths to the place in between The tangible world and the land of a dream Because everything here ain't quite what it seems There's more beneath the appearance of things Beggars could be kings within the shadows of the wings For everyone who will learn to listen, to love, and to pray, and to serve, and to do the right thing even when it burns, and to live in the light through each treacherous turn. Man is weak, but the spirit yearns to keep to the course from the bow to the stern, and throw overboard every selfish concern that tries to work for what can't be earned sometimes. The only way to return is to go where the winds will take you. To let go of all you cannot hold on to for the whole of beyond the blue. Like a virgin unveiled who waited so long To dance and rejoice and to sing her song And to rest in the arms of a love so strong No one comes unless they're drawn By the voice of desire that leads them along To the redemption of what went wrong By the blood that covered the innocent one No more separation between us One more time, if there's any hope, may it be a sign that everything was made to shine despite what you can see. So take this bread and drink this wine and hide your spirit in the vine where all things work by good design for those who will believe and let go of all. But we cannot hold on. you guys tonight. I want to thank you for coming out. This feels like it's just tipping into fall right now, you know? Yeah. Hands are getting cold. <laughs> Gotta put a vest on. <laughs> Ethan, is there any water around? I could get a bottle or two if anyone has one. If they haven't put their mouth all over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is 
This one's called Zion and Babylon. Oh. All right. And it's not a reggae song. Although Zion and Babylon are referenced in a lot of reggae music. But also a lot in the Old and New Testament. As these pictures of uh, two kingdoms um, that we can choose between, you know, Zion or uh, Babylon, that is being a picture of what man can do in his own strength. What we can do by manipulation and control and exploitation of others to lift our name up, to make ourselves little gods. Because deep in our heart, we all kind of want that. We want to be on top and be worshipped. The only way for man to do that, we're not made to be in that position. So the only way we can do that is to like step on the backs of others. And it looks like a pyramid. It's a pyramid scheme. You know, only a couple people make it up there on top. And usually they're real unhappy and either commit suicide or die. Bitter, angry people. Because <laughs> we're not made to be up there, you know. But as you go down the pyramid, there's usually more and more and more that are exploited and nameless and voiceless, you know, the voiceless, nameless masses, you know? And um, political systems, religious systems, economic systems are all guilty of this, but so are individuals, you know, guilty of building our little Babylons. But then Zion is always this picture. It's a real place, just as Babylon is, but it's also a symbol of what you have no power to do on your own. You actually have to trust in something greater than yourself. You have to trust in God, because he says it's a city that's not made with hands, and you don't get in there by anything you've proven or done. It's, it's a thing called grace, which is unmerited favor, which means you're given something you don't deserve. Whether you're the worst or the best of them, it doesn't matter. Zion, it says, is a city not built with hands where God sets everything right, wipes away every tear, sets every bone straight, sets every captive free. And so we, we have this little life on earth that goes by actually pretty fast when you compare it to eternity. We have this little life to choose which kingdom we're going to build into. And a lot of people choose uh, sort of the Babylonian system, so that one seems way more normal. And you seem like a kook if you choose to build into it the eternal kingdom, which is Zion. But God calls us to. That's the call on every human. No one's exempt. So this is called Zion and Babylon. Consumption, the dangerous dysfunction, disguised as expensive taste. Cause I'm a, a people disgraced by what I claim I need and what I want to waste. I take no account for nothing if it's not mine. Cause it's a misappropriation of funds. Protect my 